Well, we're on the doorstep of the end of summer, the unofficial end, at least the Labor Day weekend, the statutory holiday that celebrates the achievement of workers. But instead of celebrating this year, 27,000 government employees across the province are getting ready to go on strike. And they are not the only ones contemplating job action. CTV's Louise Hartland joins us now live with more on the labor climate in B.C. on the eve of Labor Day. Louise. Hudson, the placards and banners are out and 27,000 government employees say Wednesday may, not, may only be the beginning of the job action ahead. It is the first time in 38 years the Professional Employees Association is doing this. So they're ready with uh, banners, banners and placards and, uh, and picket signs. But the 1,250 members say they have no choice and have a strong message for the government. Come back to the bargaining table with a mandate to address uh, the concerns of our members relating to deprofessionalization and to ensure that there's a strong pr professional presence within government. We believe that that's, uh, that reflects the public interest and we're also uh, hoping that they'll come back to the bargaining table with an appropriate wage offer. On Wednesday, 27,000 workers will strike in 153 communities across the province. They are members of the PEA, ICBC employees and the Government Employees Union. Money is the underlying issue. The government and ICBC are telling us that uh, they can't afford to pay us, uh, to pay our members basically a cost of living increase. We see all of the, uh, the increases that management got, the exorbitant increases that management got, to tell our members in fact they have to fall behind and inflation is just not right. BC GEU members want a 3.5% wage increase in the first year and an inflation-based cost of living increase in the second. The global economic situation isn't getting any better and continues to put pressure on the government's budget. As this pressure increases, it will make it harder for government to make even modest compensation increases possible. That NDP Labour critic Shane um, Simpson says the collective sort of bargaining needs to happen. And when uh, ministers of the government get up and make pronouncements about what will and won't happen in bargaining, I think they're just hurting the process. Much better to let the unions be at the table with the negotiators uh, for government and allow those negotiations to proceed and to be open and to be fair. Labor unrest has also spread to higher education. QP support workers at UVic are planning a walkout which could affect services such as libraries, mail delivery, groundskeeping and childcare. The union wants a deal by the end of September. Government workers striking Wednesday say this may only be the beginning and they haven't ruled out a full-scale strike. Of course, Labor Day also marks the last day before thousands of public school students return to class around the province. The teachers were involved with the most lengthy and high-profile job action this year and they will be back in class under Bill 22 next week. But Hudson, there is still some question whether all teachers will participate in extracurricular activities. We'll find out next week. Louise, thank you. You're welcome. Louise Hartland reporting.